Okay. Where am I going? <laughs> Drum roll, please. Mexican food. That's what, what the choice was. It was very close between pizza and Mexican food at first, but I think Mexican like really ran away with it at the end. Um, so we are on the hunt for the best Mexican food in Panama City. Um, you know, some locals may be like pretty upset, like, hey, Brad, I noticed that you didn't have Los Rancheros and Los Anahitos on your Mexican list. They're not good, that's why. <laughs> They're great restaurants. They're not good Mexican restaurants. So, let's go. The beginning of our Mexican journey. Depends on the first bite. That's good. It. I'm so hungry though. I've got some good heat. I feel okay. like it's I feel like it's authentic. Are the chips warm? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's a plus. Yep. That's that's what we like. It's definitely spicy though, you know? Yeah, there's some heat. Mmm. That's steaming. Yeah. This is hot, hot. Like this video because he's going to burn his mouth. Look. I, I like, <clears throat> this is how I like my cheese dips. I like it like that. Thick. You like a white cheese? Mm hmm And hot. Kind of runny. But kind of thick. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. I don't know what else to do. I like it. How's the ambiance? <laughs> <laughs> it's really oh, just, just quiet. Authentic. Yeah. I feel like I'm legit in Mexico. Have you ever been to Mexico other than the cruise? <laughs> no. We're the only people in here too. <laughs> yeah, it's really trying. We're trying yeah. to be quiet so and, that it's not and, like... And Letty brought her taco. <laughs> Get your taco. Get your taco. taco. Get your taco. Get your taco. Yeah, eat that taco. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Letty gives the food a 10 out of 10. <laughs> it's like not too salty, not too chunky. The rice looks really good. I mean, normal, you know? yeah, I would say like, at this I don't expect it to like blow me away, but you know, you don't want it to taste bad and it doesn't Can taste bad. So. Can you tell the people that Los Anahitos rice does not look like that? No, what does it look like? I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> doesn't look like that, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Tamale. Very yummy. She's upset, I think she's just fighting. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. It's the. It's really hot. The, like burrito tacos or something. It's right? really hot. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Yeah. It's definitely very fatty, but it's really good. Yeah. It's kind of greasy, but. What? It's a big bite. Big oh bite for a big guy. Burrito. -y. He's like burrito. How are the tortillas? I mean, it's hard to tell. This one's covered in salsa. And we got salsa. Mm -hmm. mm, burrito is a little tiny. I mean, that's really good. I think that's the enchilada, and it looks amazing. Really? We've got to ask. So when you come back, I just expected there to be like enchilada sauce or something. Taco looks good though. It looks really cheesy. Here we go. That's really good. You know, like that. We've been corrected. Apparently, we ordered a burrito, a flauta, and a quesadilla, which the quesadilla is really good. Flauta is also good. I mean, they're, they're all good. That's why we were so confused. But here, here, you can try the flauta. Here. Strawberry hot. Mm hmm. 
Very good though. Yeah. I mean, deep fry anything, and I'm a fan, so. We have, now we have a chicken enchilada. We want to be able to like try everything, you know, burrito, taco, Hi. quesadilla. So, <laughs> enchilada, it is now. This. I can't wait to eat this. I mean, everything has been really good. I mean, this is. Am I gonna burn my mouth? Mm -mm. Good. I think these things are very authentic, so it's like not what we usually have. Yeah, it's not like Tex-Mex, if you will. I would say like this is something I actually noticed when we when I ate out in Mexico. We um, over season our food in the U.S. comparatively. Like we put a lot more spices and stuff on there, so the flavors are really good. It's just a lot more subtle than what you're used to. But I mean, everything has been great. So mm -hmm. Maddie's was very good, exceptional. Very I guess. Authentic. The one complaint I'm gonna have now is we ordered a number 39, which was a beef burrito, a beef enchilada, and a beef taco, because those are the things we wanted to get. And it came out and I was like, I can't tell what's what, because there was definitely a burrito, but then there was like two other things and we couldn't figure out what it was. Well, one was a quesadilla and one was a flauta because they rang up number 38. So we ordered an enchilada separately that they brought out. Um, and then when I confronted them at it when I was paying, it was just kind of like, oops. Normally a restaurant would probably do something to take care of you. Again, I'm not gonna harp on that too much because the food was really good. Total bill after tip and all was like 50 bucks. So yeah, I, I'm gonna say our bill was like $44 before tip, so for 50. And I'm stuffed. Austin said like he literally was like so full he could go to sleep and Aubrey's just content, I guess. Yeah, I could sleep. <laughs> um, but Ambiance. the favorite thing that you had, what would it be? Favorite thing, I loved the tamales because I love tamales. And I loved the queso, the salsa was good. Chips were, I don't know if the chips were authentic, it's hard for me to tell. Um, but the burrito was my I least think, favorite. I think the chips were definitely authentic, but the flautas were really good. I thought, the, which was a surprise win because we weren't going to get flautas. Um, and then what were those burritas? Uh, it was like Taco Stay Burrilla. Tacos de Burrilla or something like that, which I'm sure you've seen on TikTok where someone's like making all that sauce and they dip the um, the tortilla in the sauce and then they like, load it all up. It was really good. I think that was probably, um, that and the um, flautas were my favorite thing. But overall, ambiance. Ambiance, I, mean, I give it like a six out of 10, but that's- But I don't really weigh like, that heavily on my decision making to go to a restaurant, so. Yeah. Um, um, I'd, I'd it agree. It was clean. It was quiet. Yeah. Nothing was really going on, no music, nothing, you know. Um, and then overall food, right? Yeah, food I would give a, I mean, honestly. Uh, Probably eight and a half. I was gonna, I was gonna say 8.8, .8, so 8.8 .8 out yeah. of 10. Mm -hmm. um, service, they, they were very attentive, very nice. The guy must have been new, he kept asking someone else questions. Um, and like or I said. Or there could have been a language barrier, I'm not sure. And then one little, the hiccup which ringing up the wrong thing i just personally feel like if a business makes a mistake they should correct it and not charge you you know um yeah. so i won't hold that against them though because like i said it was really good food and, and the price wasn't that expensive so and if i would have pitched a fit i'm sure they would have done something but i'm just not that kind of person yeah. so overall i'm gonna give it an eight and a half out of ten for my overall score same. If a friend came into town and they're like, I want some authentic Mexican, I would not take them to a Tex-Mex place. I would take them to there. Right. So, but I'm giving it eight and a half so that way we have wiggle room on both sides just in case. But overall, I, I don't know if anyone's going to be better than them, to be honest with you. So, but we'll see you next week. Hope you enjoyed that video. Um, like this video because we you picked Mexican and we're doing it. Comment down below what your favorite Mexican dish is. Um, share this video with a friend who maybe is going to be visiting the area or, or just because you love to support us and you want other people to watch our videos. Subscribe if you haven't. You're, You're worth, worth it. it.